as you say to me. Morning, darling. Oh, I'm on camera, am I? Morning. I wish you'd said I would have smartened myself up. I wouldn't bother. <laughs> it's another day in the salon. Mm. And I must admit, I am sick to death of this room now. Oh, are you? Every time I come in here, I love it even more. <clears throat> so I've just seen another job that needs to be done. Another job. Da, da, da. Obviously, we haven't opened up for the morning yet. And behind the shutters, this is what we're faced with. Adrian's repaired the wood at the bottom. But then I've got to get some plaster in here, smooth it off. So you only see these when the shutters are closed. But mm, what shall I do with them? In the dining room, we put extra paper in them, but I don't want to do that in here. If anyone suggests gold leaf, I'm unsubscribing them. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, viewers, you can come up with an idea what to put in the panels behind the shutters. It's the same both sides of the doors. They both need filling and they both need something to go in there. So if you could leave your comments, we will get back to you eventually. We read every single one. And exciting stuff! The reason we need the shutters, they oh. make such a difference, don't they? Oh. They do. Though we read that they keep so much percentage of the heat in. percent of the heat in, and they do. They make a massive difference. So with the shutters and curtains, which I know is on the On the cards, list, yes. Yeah, will be such a difference. But we have progress on the floor. Adrian has finally found the video that, video that he lost, he put in a safe place, of how the floor goes. <laughs> See, it's not just me. <laughs> but this is a sign of the times. I can soon, very soon, hand this room back to Adrian. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll find you something to do. You can paint the inside of the shutters. Oh, no. <laughs> so, this is... Imminent. It isn't because I must finish the bottom of the stairs. Just sort out a few things in the It's okay. Room. I've still got a few panels left okay. to do in here. So I'm a week away, definitely, I reckon. And then it's Christmas. Ah, oh, well, there goes the floor then. <laughs> we'll see. It's the floor or a tray? Floor. I vote floor. You vote floor. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, a lot of people may be disappointed about not decorating this room for Christmas. But unfortunately, the van is off the road again and we can't collect the four metre tree anyway. So I think it might be the floor and you can watch everyone else's videos on Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I've replaced the top of the stairs. That wasn't too bad a job actually. Um, I'd like to try and keep as much of the timbers as possible. So ones where they've just been slightly eaten in, as an example there. I'm gonna leave for the moment. I've treated them. Uh, the actual wood is solid. Um, some of the steps themselves are okay. So again, we'll just treat them. Uh, a few of them I've had to replace, but as I said, I'm using the flooring from upstairs. Uh, but as I come down the stairs, oh my god, a sorry state it really is. So I'm slowly taking these out. Even the support I'm going to have to sort out. Um, so it's a bit of a, a hop, skip and a jump to get up and down at the moment. But luckily uh, we don't come down here that often into the cellar. I will, uh, as I said, I'll rip all this out. The banister on this side actually actually looks pretty good. I'm quite happy with that actually. So just having to support the new uh, choice under there won't be too bad a job, I hope. The problem is the original owner, or maybe even before that, I don't know, just been rigging up bits of wood here and there just to support things. But, you know, at the end of the day, they'd just better just get back and fix the problem correctly and then don't have to keep messing around. Anyhow, I'm going to crack on and uh, let's see how we get on today. Well, top half, as I said, is done. I've now written the bottom half. Uh, as I said, we're gonna to have to replace that joist on the right, on the left-hand side, happy with. Uh, but what a mess. Or plan B, I'll just put a lift in, 
we'll see. Right, so we get these stairs finished today. <clears throat> God, it's a cold one this morning. I think we woke up, it's two degrees, so uh, the faster we get working, the warmer we get. So uh, I might have shown we're about, I'm just around the corner now from putting new uh, steps in or, or reusing the old ones if I'm happy. Uh, that bottom step definitely I was happy with. I'm just sorting out the, uh, to hold it up. I've got a joist now, a new brand new one in at the side. Now I couldn't find a piece of oak to do that. Uh, but one of the floor joists that I use is perfect. Uh, and you won't see it. It's all underneath the uh, staircase. So uh, uh, it's not going to be a problem. So slowly I work my way down uh, to the bottom today and uh, then we've got access. And then it's a case of probably just cleaning it up next, uh, but I'll show that later. So tomorrow's job, oh, the uh, radio of the cowl has some paint here. The reason being I need to get this one off because as you can see the timber work that's coming down there has dropped. I need to bring that up. I can't bring that up because the radiator is actually pressing down on that wood. So I need to sort out those fixings. That's three of them. There, and then I can uh, sort out the woodwork behind and then Carol can paint the radiator. Now normally that would have been all right, I would have just turned it off at the valve, isolated it, but the valve is completely kaput, um, which has caused me a drama. So I've dropped the pressure as much as I can on the system, uh, but it's still a mess. So I'm probably gonna have to drain that down tomorrow. One of the reasons we haven't turned the heating on in the chateau yet is because I sort of knew I might have to, but I've sort of been putting it off a bit, to be honest with you. Uh, but that's my job tomorrow, otherwise Cal can't get and finish this corner off. So, uh, fingers crossed, tomorrow goes better. Right, that's the radiator off. And now all I've got to do now is lift that piece of wood. What have you done to my salon? Oops, caught in the act. You just made a mess. Yes, a wee mess, don't worry. <laughs> is that good enough? Is that what the water stain is? A wee mess. <laughs> I couldn't wait. I've had to cap this, so we'll cap this off for the moment, not worry about it. Then we can get the pressure up for the heating back on. Um, I'm happy with this actually, because I don't really want to go any further than this. That disturbing too much. I, I think we can adjust the uh, archetype so it all matches. You're going to fill these. I guess I've got to work my magic somehow, haven't I? Magic? Paul Daniels? You can do that. Well, if you do that, get those fixed, uh, then I can drop the rad back on and then we're back underway. Other than that, this corner's finished. It's finished in your eyes. There's an <laughs> awful lot of work to do there for me. It's a bit mould now, you've got more mould to do. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be fine. Right, we'll clear up your mess then so I can get back oh, in there. Oh, you know what you say, we never ever have spiders. We never see them, do we? Is it a daddy long legs? No, that's a spider. Well, he can be evicted. He's crept in a good one, hasn't he? Do you want him? Yeah, little fella. He's a good thing. Oh, yeah, look at that. Right, well, that's all the radiators <coughs> pressured up. We have heat, although we can't afford to put them all on. You don't hang around, do you, darling? No, because... <laughs> we're done. We're done. Okay, go on then, once, so that, that's finished. Um, what do you want me to do? Can you sand skirting more, then I'll put some... Stain block on the nail heads, then I give it an undercoat, I get it filled, I get it applied. Uh, come up for breath, come Two on. Two coats, one coat colour. Finish these off here while the radiator's not here. Marble, the skirting board, see, it's so much to do in just one little area. And I'm just thinking. Don't do that, that's dangerous. I can't actually believe that the whole room used to be this bad. What, that grey? I know. 
Actually, at first you liked it though, didn't you? Hence you were going that theme. But yeah. not now. Mm. Yeah, I can't believe. When you look around, this is why it's taken so long, because it used to look like this. And I, did I notice while you're having your lunch, you're even still going back to everyone on comments? Wow, yeah. you're a busy, busy girl. <laughs> no rest. No rest for the no weekend. Rest. It is horrible. I was going to go for a run, and uh, that's not happening now, as you can see through uh, the window. In fact, I think we're getting close to snow. Right, I I'll go. I need your help, actually, if you don't mind. Love to die. I can't think of anything else better. So last night, we managed to get some filling done on this patch here, so it dried overnight. So that's looking so much better, just as it is. I know you're not going to see it, but peace of mind it's done behind. So I'll get Adrian to get the skirting board back on and then I can get it all painted up. And while it's off, I'll finish this moulding over here, get that painted as well, because it's a bit fiddly to get to when the radiator's back on. And hopefully that can go back on in a couple of days. Ah, so we're getting there. Adrian, as you see, has got a piece of flooring out. So there's a good sign there. There could be progress on the floor next week. We'll see, watch this space. The radiator's cheating. It's so cozy. <laughs> uh, but Don't blame you. Why I'm filling more cracks. Now you're probably thinking, why on earth is she filling a crack behind the radiator? Why are you filling a crack behind the radiator? You wouldn't believe the drafts that come through these cracks. So look, even though I've done most of it, even though look, that little crack there, see it? Yes, I mean, I can tell you why, but you probably know. There's no cavity, isn't there? Um, you know what I mean. Yeah, the cold air from the cellar is actually coming up behind that panel. But there. also, what you people don't realise, you don't realise, there's a hell of a draft coming through there. So we've had to fill these brackets for the radiator because I was sat here painting and it's coming through there too. <laughs> As you can see, the radiator is off the wall. It's decorated behind good enough, you're not going to see it. Um, the radiator can go back on and then I can concentrate on that corner. Well, thank goodness for that. The rad is on. That was a bit of a, a mission, but uh, a few bits of wood and a bit of propping here and there and uh, we're on. And yeah, it looks pretty square. So I'm yeah, more than happy with that because I did raise it up and I was worried then it would look a bit, but no, it's fine. It's over to you in the paint department now. All right, all right, it's not just painting, there's filling, cracks, there's oh. priming, there's blah, 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 you know what I mean. Yeah, I do. Oh, exactly there's still got gesso to do over there because I couldn't get there. So. Yes, you mean no. on the edges before you do your gold and yeah. then your foiling. Okay. Everyone's been saying we need some colour in the salon, so I thought we'd go for something really bright and bold to lighten it up. Now I've just got to adjust this a little bit, find my cotton. Uh, I'm using EcoFlow as my power pack because the plug doesn't reach. Uh, we will be giving one of those away in a future vlog, so always keep watching. Um, so I'm going to get this hemmed and stitched and show you what it looks like in the room. It's the perfect length now. To be my skirt. <laughs> <laughs> Only joking, as if I put that in the salon. <laughs> A summer skirt for the winter. <laughs> right, back to it. You tease.